Well, thanks for tuning into this broadcast, viewers. And uh, the monthly Amphi data is out. A uh, couple of numbers which are maybe a bit disconcerting for some people, but well, maybe shouldn't also come as a surprise simply because of the uncertainty surrounding the whole economic scenario. And therefore, the resultant impact being seen on all kinds of flows, including Amphi, including mutual fund flows as well. Mr. N.S. Venkatesh needs no introduction with Lee Johnson right now with his thoughts. Mr. Venkatesh, good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining in. What's your sense about the average investor right now? Credit, uh, equity, large, mid. Is there a bit of a risk aversion in place right now? Looking at the numbers, I, I believe, yes, definitely there is a little bit of a risk aversion. If you look at the way the numbers have panned out, even in credit, you, you will see the money has gone down to the PSU and banking funds and the gilt funds, that sort of the thing. And in equity, if you look at it, you see the large and large and mid-cap sector where the money has gone in and little bit to the focus funds which has money has gone in. So I would I would say that there is definitely a little bit of risk aversion that is, that is there in the minds of people, mainly because uh, the economy is not in, in that great condition at this particular point of time because of the COVID impact uh, coming in. Uh, hopefully, I think with the uh, steps being taken by the central government and the state governments, uh, the COVID, could, COVID effect could get negated over a period of time. And the stimulus packages which are being announced by the central government, I think that that should help uh, maybe bring back a little bit of confidence. Mm. Uh, the monetary policy is also supportive. The monetary policy is uh, very, very conducive by cutting rates and also providing liquidity to the extent of more than 8 lakh crore. So I think these these steps which have been taken, uh, I think uh, over a period of time it, it will it will bear the fruit. That's what will happen. Okay, cross fingers for that. Uh, you know, CEOs within the industry, some of them uh, we follow each other on Twitter as well, have on 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 that platform as well, and otherwise said that well, the SIP number coming off month on month, two months in a row is a bit disconcerting because you can argue that lump sum etc goes through its own you know crests and drops, but the SIP number coming off a bit disconcerting. Uh, Chasing performance, you would reckon? No, I would not say that. I would I would say that this is just the second month in running, which which you saw a little bit of a tape. But still, uh, over the last 18 months, it is showing more than 8,000 crore of money coming into the uh, mutual fund industry through way of SIP. So I think, uh, and new accounts are getting opened. It's not as if new accounts are not getting opened. New accounts are getting opened. So I think I think we, do, we should not worry too much at this particular point of time. Okay. Would you, would you by any chance, I'm just asking this off the cuff for the year 2020, do you have a sense of the number of accounts that have been opened or number of folios created versus the number of folios or the schemes that have, from where people have withdrawn their subscriptions? Any any numbers there, Mr. Venkatesh? This this month, if you look at it, it was 8 lakh and 6 lakh. 8 lakh, 8 lakh was the number of accounts, new accounts opened and 6 lakh was the number of accounts which got matured because of which some discontinuance has happened. So that somewhere around 2 lakh accounts are being opened. On a net, net basis, 2 lakh accounts are being opened. So I think if you look at it, this is the worst, worst period if you look at it from that particular point of time. So at this period itself, we are having a 2 lakh uh, accounts opening on a net basis. So we should, we should see from here onwards the number increasing. So the, so the withdrawals, and, and just one more question on the equity side before uh, last question on the credit risk side, but one question on the equity side. I saw, you know, typically every advisor who's coming, etc., on, on the shows, etc., and everybody's saying that the multi-cap category is the one that people will look at. Somehow we've seen this category also see a bit of a change this, uh, this month around. Uh, what's the sense here? Is it again a part of the standard plan? Because SIP flows are okay, but the other flows are not. People are taking money off from all category of funds except large caps. Maybe, maybe essentially I, I would say like that, that essentially the, the being a little bit more risk covers. So maybe people are taking money out of the other funds and then putting it back to the large cap funds. So that is what is happening. That's okay. exactly what. One observation that you made, sir, on the credit risk funds, would you want to dwell upon that a bit? Because it's disconcerting now, right? 13 months of outflows and while it's narrowed month on month, it's still a very large number. Yeah, but still, I would say uh, the, the redemption pressure has completely eased from what what had happened after that event of Franklin Temple. Franklin. Mm. After that, it has come down substantially. So for the whole month, if you see, it's around 5,000 and odd pros uh, redemption has happened. But the general mood in the in the market is risk aversion. So when you when you're looking at risk aversion, I don't see people coming back putting money back into the credit risk funds at this particular point of time. Maybe they, even if they put, they will choose the particular fund which is exposed to 
high quality papers like the triple a papers or a fair amount of double a plus papers in the portfolio so till till the risk aversion goes away uh, i i would say that maybe the inflows into the credit risk will get highly moderate Okay, Mr. Venkatesh, we leave it at that. Thanks much for taking the time Thank out and giving us your thoughts. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thanks for tuning into this broadcast. Thanks.